This is a Ryan Mitchell production. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, so I'm going to talk about of life in photochromisms. So what is photochromisms? Photochromism is the material which convert color less to color in the influence of ultraviolet radiations. So the first materials which, which the first commercial material which was applied in the photochromic materials is the sunglass. In 1960s the sunglass are, are bloomed. So in the sunglass what is the mechanism? So when we wear and when we go outside it becomes dark and of course it protect your eyes. Why it becomes dark? Because it containing the photochromic materials which convert colorless to colored. Okay now we'll see what is off life in the photochromic materials so if you see this diagram and you will get all the mechanism which together in the photochromic materials so here this graph is says is a dynamics of photochromic materials here you can see the number one two three four which describes how the photochromic materials converted from colorless to colored and color to colorless so the number one and two is sorry number one and four is a colorless and two is a partially colored and three is a colored so you can see here when we apply ultraviolet radiations so it becomes colored the two is says is a partially colored and three is says is a fully colored so if you see t1 by 2e is off life in the exposure period so what is off life so time required for the reactant in the concentration to decrease from a0 to a1 by 2 so it say foster reaction is called shorter half life and slower reaction is called longer half life so there are two half lives one is for exposure stage and second is in the reversion stage in the reversion stage it says the color the form is converted into original form which is called colorless form if you see this diagram it's very easy to understand here we apply the ultraviolet radiation that means UV on so the photochromic materials absorb UV energy and it excited and after excitation it becomes colored and it gets uh, photostationary equilibrium after that we go for UV off so once UV off it becomes colored to colorless in this case we can get slower reactions there are some residual color because for long live isomers that's all thank you and don't forget to subscribe please subscribe this is a production